Dear students, welcome to this video tutorial series in digital electronics. In today's video, we will discuss about binary code to gray code converter. So, what is a binary code? Binary code is nothing but we have a base of 2. That means if any number, suppose 4, we can represent it as 0100. So, now, now we will understand what is a gray code. What is a gray code? code a gray code is nothing but it is a unit distance code that means first characteristics of a gray code is number one is it is a unit distance code it is called unit distance code because from one gray code to its next gray code there is a difference of only one bit suppose if we have zero zero first then the next gray code will be 0 1 the next will be 1 1 but in the case of binary number system this one is gray okay but we saw that in binary number system we have 0 0 then 0 1 then 1 0 then 1 1 therefore we can see that in binary number system from 0 0 to 0 1 there is one single bit sense and from 0 1 to 1 0 there we have two bit sense that means 0 is changing to 1 and 1 is changed to 0 and for here also we have one bit sense. but if we consider the gray code we'll have only one bit sense from 0 0 to 0 1 we have single bit sense from 0 1 to 1 1 only this bit is changed here and from 1 1 to sorry this one is one zero so from one one to one zero we have only this bit is changing there is another point of gray code successive numbers successive numbers differ by differ by only one bit and third point we have minimum error code uh, that means we need to switch only one bit at the one bit between two consecutive numbers it is called as the gray code is called a minimum error code because between two consecutive numbers we have only single bit difference that is why we will have minimum minimum number of errors so now we will see how to find the gray code from the decimal number let us take an example here suppose we have a number 0 1 1 0 so how we will convert this this one is suppose binary number binary number so how we will convert this to gray code so first of all this this is the most significant bit this is the least significant bit so first of all msb is written as it is 0 and then we will add this number to this second number we will have means 0 is added to this number and we write the summation here and if there is a carry we will discard that and 0 plus 1 is 1 and again 1 plus 1 is 0 and here 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 is 1 so this is the gray code of this binary number let us consider another number 1 0 1 0 this is suppose the binary number binary number now for finding out the gray code first of all this msb is written as it is then we will add this one to this zero we will get here one and zero is added to this one and we will get one and this one is added to this zero so we will get one this is the gray code representation of this binary number one plus zero is one zero plus one is one one plus zero is one so this is the gray code of this binary number now for finding out the relation between the gray code and the binary code let us make the truth table first truth table table for 
converting the binary code to gray code so now we'll make the truth table for binary code to gray code conversion <coughs> so in this side we'll write the binary code binary code and in this side we'll write the gray code of those binary numbers so suppose we have four bit number b3 b2 b1 b0 and here we also have gray code number z3 z2 z1 and z0 so let us first write down the write down all the combinations of this the four bit binary number so here we'll have are the 16 binary numbers using 4 bit representation now let us convert these binary numbers to their respective gray code so 0 is first right here 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 is again 0 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 0 then we have 0 0 and 1 and first one is 0 and second one is 0 and third one is 1 and fourth one is also 1 So this is the binary conversion of this so this is the gray code conversion of the binary 4 bit binary numbers from this truth table we will try to find out the expression for z3 z2 z1 and z0 so for this we have to make the k map and from that we have to find out the boolean function for z3 z2 z1 and z0 in terms of b3 b2 b1 and b0 K map for Z3. This is a 4 bit binary number, therefore, we will have 16 number of cells B3, B2, B1, B0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So for Z3, we have 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 then we have 8 number of 1s 8 number of 1 1 1 1 1 and we have 1 1 1 1 so from here we have the boolean function that means for z3 equal to from this we will get b3 b3 that means this is the equation 1 uh, z3 is same as that of b3 now let us make the kmf for kmf for z2 b3 b2 b1 b0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so for z2 we have for z2 we have 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 then we have 1 1 1 1 that means we have 8 number of 1s 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 
then we have four number of zeros zero 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 from here we can take it as this four one and this four one so z2 equal to for this will have b3 bar b2 b3 bar b2 plus for this one we'll have b3 b2 bar b3 b2 bar this is the xor operation that means b3 xor b2 so z2 equal to b3 xor b2 this is equation number 2 now we'll find out the expression for z1 therefore we have k map for z1 so for z1 we have for z1 we have 0 0 then 4 number of 1s 0 0 1 1 1 1 then we have 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 then we have 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 then 0 0 this will be one boolean expression and from here we'll have another boolean product term therefore z1 equal to from this we have b2 b2 and from here this side will get b1 bar b1 bar plus from this we'll get b2 bar b2 bar and from this side we'll get b1 b1 this is nothing but the XOR operation that means expansion of the XOR gate. Therefore, we can write it as B3 XOR, sorry, B2, B2 XOR B1. Z1 is B2 XOR B1. So, this is the equation number 3. Now, we'll make the KMF for Z0. KMF for Z0. So for Z0 we have 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 Then we have 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 one zero from this we will get the boolean uh, function for z0 so z0 equal to from this we will get b1 bar b0 b1 bar b0 plus from here we will get b1 b0 bar b1 b0 bar this is nothing but xor operation so we can write it as b1 xor b0 so we got the expression for z3 z2 z1 and z0 from this we'll try to make the circuit diagram logic diagram for binary to gray code conversion now we'll draw the logic diagram for binary to gray code conversion we have four inputs that means we have a four bit number so we'll have four binary input lines b3 b2 b1 and b0 these are the binary lines now we'll make the now we'll find out the gray codes g3 g2 z1 and z0 from the boolean function for z3 we got b3 that means z3 equal to b3 that means we have to directly 
you will directly get here z3 for z2 we have z2 equal to b3 xor b2 b3 xor b2 these are the two lines we have to use an xor or get you get here z2 and now for z1 we have now for z1 we have b3 sorry for z1 we have b2 xor b1 that means b2 xor b1 therefore we have to use an xor get here and we get z1 and for z0 we have b1 xor b0 therefore we will take b1 from here and b0 from here and we will use an xor get to get the z0 c3 is nothing but b3 z2 is nothing but b b3 xor sorry b3 xor b2 z1 is nothing but b2 xor b1 and z0 is nothing but b1 xor b0 so this is the logic diagram for binary to gray code conversion thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you